the idea behind this workshop on writing JUnit tests and working with Makito is basically acknowledging that JUnit has undergone a substantial revision in the past couple of years. The move from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5 really takes advantage of the new functional features that were added into Java. It's got Lambda expression support. It uses suppliers that come from the Java library and many other features that, that make JUnit a much more useful tool than it used to be. So even though JUnit has been a solved problem and understood problem for many, many years, you'll find that now you'll have the ability to do things like run a whole series of tests on an individual object with the understanding that they will all run even if some of them fail. You can also test for timeouts to see whether a test passes within a specified amount of time. And you could do that either in the same thread or in a thread that interrupts that one preemptively. We are going to look at a lot of different features, all the different things that make JUnit 5 such a substantial improvement over the previous versions of the, of the framework. And this is becoming much more commonly used in the marketplace. Even Spring uses JUnit 5 under the hood automatically. So it's really helpful to know how this works. Now, the other side of this workshop is to talk about by far the most popular mocking library in the Java world, which would be Makito. Now, Makito recently underwent a revision to go to Makito 3. And once again, it now has as a minimum SDK version using Java 1.8. So it can take advantage of streams and lambdas and method references and things of that nature. So we'll look at how, you know, what is the role of a stub? What's the role of a mock? How do you set expectations on various stubs? How do you verify or validate that the methods in the mock were called the right number of times in the right order. We're going to look at all the different ways, even a little bit about spies and partial mocks and even what's coming in the future, like the potential to be able to mock static methods, which is something Makito's never had in the past. So this is really going to focus on testing. We're going to go through all the major mechanisms available within JUnit 5 and then working with Makito as well.